Ladies and gentlemen, let's begin to the com video. Let's talk about graphics cards yet again. This time, the GTX 1060 is going to be firmly within our sights because we have more information that's emerged over the past 24 hours, which, depending on if these rumors are accurate, Pixar card is being faster than the RX 480, but with some caveats, and we're going to talk about those in this particular video. Now, before I go into that, we do actually have a 480. That's right, I actually have one in my home, haven't tested it yet, and a couple of other pieces of review gear appeared on the same day. And it's kind of funny because we weren't actually told that a couple of them were going to be arriving today, so I was like, hmm, well, that makes things interesting. But anyway, I digress. So anyway, the 4.8 is here. So hopefully within the next three or four days, we're going to have the CPU review that I've been working on up. And the 4.80 review is going to be started. And that should be in time for duh, 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 the GTX 1060. I don't know why I'm in a really hype mood today, so you'll have to forgive me. Anywho, I'm going to blame the hay fever medication. So you might recall that the GTX 1060 is going to appear uh, in terms of formal announcements on July the 7th. So not too long away, that's when the NDA is lifted. And will be on store shelves, supposedly, on July 14th. Once again, that's the same date that custom cooler versions of the RX 480 are going to be available. Now, there's going to be two iterations of the GTX 1060, the GP106-300 and the GP106-400. Now, what's interesting about this is that the 300 has 3 gigabytes of RAM, whereas the 400 has 6 gigabytes of RAM. Now, according to BenchLife, there are a few things with the card that we should definitely take into account. The first is that the GP106 has 1280 CUDA cores, which has been rumoured for some time, but SLI is not supported. So if you have any visions of buying two of these cards, running them in SLI and slapping the GTX 1080 around, then you can just, well, mosey on away with that uh, hopes and dream. The second thing is the pricing. Now, we are talking about US prices here, just to clarify, but let's face it, in most regions, you can probably do the maths yourself. So the 3 gigabyte is 250 US dollars, whereas the 6 gigabyte is 299 US dollars. Now, the interesting thing here is that videocards.com have got hold of a couple of slides and they've compared it to the GTX. 1060 versus the RX 480. Now, the boost clock of this sucker is 1.7 gigahertz, which it doesn't take too much of a uh, of um, calculation to figure that that was roughly what it was going to be because of other cards in the series. And obviously, if they cut the clocks down too much, as well as the CUDA cores you just wouldn't get adequate performance. Display connectors, three DP104s, a HDMI, and a DL DVI. I've got to say, that's pretty That's pretty nice. That's a lot of display options. And that's always a good thing, in my opinion. More display options are always a good thing. Essentially, the card is being aimed at the performance of a GTX 10... Uh, sorry, I'll say that again. The power of a GTX 980. Now... They are claiming it's, and I quote, much faster than an RX 480. But in reality, I would probably say that's not the case. And I'll tell you why, because it's relative performance. So what they've basically done is they've really zoomed into the graphs. And you could see, for example, it looks about 10 to 15 percent ish faster than the GTX, sorry, the GTX 1060 is about 10 to 15 percent faster than the RX 480. Virtual reality performance is about 25 ish percent given by the graphs, but the power efficiency is a lot higher. What does all of that mean to you and I? Well, the same thing that I've said for the past couple of days now don't buy an RX 480 if you're 
thinking of either buying the custom cooler for heavy overclocking or you've got that little bit of extra money. For example, let's say you've got 300 US dollars ish. By all means, wait. Buy the GTX 1060 if it turns out to be better. My concern with the GTX 1060 is for the pricing, 3 gigabytes of RAM is a bit shit, to be honest. Now, I'm not saying that 3 gigabytes won't serve you for 1080p, but even 4 gigabytes I'd consider a little meager, to be honest. So, would I be happy with a 3 gigabyte card now? No. My personal opinion, and at the end of the day, personal opinion, I'm not telling you what to buy. My personal opinion is the 6 gigabyte is going to probably be the model to buy. So, in reality, it turns out to be quite a lot more expensive than the RX 480 because the RX 480 is are around 230 US dollars for the 8 gigabyte model. So you're probably going to come into this weird position where the RX 480 is let's say 230 US dollars, 8 gigabytes, perfect for 1080p and entry level 1440p. And then you've got the GTX 1060 which is about 300 US dollars for the 8 gigabyte for the 6 gigabyte model I'll say that again about 300 US dollars for the uh, 6 gigabyte model but it's going to have 15ish percent more performance now I say all this based upon the slides and the reason I bring up the slides is because at the end of the day Nvidia could be slightly exaggerating or it could be it's slightly more and we don't know what the overclocking abilities are going to be of the cards, especially the custom cooler versions of either company. So my final advice to you on this situation before I get my review up of the RX 480 is as follows. Just to quickly go through it one more time. Buy the RX 480 if about 230 is your limit. If you don't have any more, I would personally say that the 3 gigabyte GTX 1060 is not going to be sufficient. But... We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to be a little quiet over the next couple of days. I will be putting out the odd video here and there. But I am absolutely going to be... Run off my feet, basically, with the next couple of days. With uh, We've got a lot of filming to do tomorrow, which is going to be filming the motherboard. I've already filmed the processor. Uh, going to take the product shots of the RX 480. And I'm also going to start, if I've got time, looking over the keyboard. But most likely it's going to be that. Then we've got some more products coming as well for review. So basically we want to start doing a lot more reviews, a lot more tech analysis. It just, it so happens that everything comes at once this month. So it just is what it is. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Uh, as usual, subscribe, like, share. Tell it to your neighbours, shout it to your friends. Anyway, take care of yourself, guys. Bye for now.